Hello guys, welcome back to Control. It's been a while since we've done some Control on this channel. As you guys probably know, I played through the base game some time ago. We played through the Foundation DLC, which I actually didn't put on this channel, um, but you guys can see it on the Archive channel if you want. And I held off on the AWE DLC because I learned that it was connected to the events in Alan Wake, so I decided, since I wanted to play that game eventually anyways, that I would play it. Um, and I just did, and we just finished it, and it was very, very good. You guys can see the Alan Wake playthrough right here, if I remember to put something there, so hopefully I do, or else I'm gonna look like an idiot right now. Hopefully this is not me looking like an idiot. So anyways, without further ado, Let's get back into control, back to the FBC with Jesse Faden for the AWE DLC. Enjoy this episode, guys. It's going to be a long one, but it's going to be good. I'm thinking it's going to be pretty, pretty good tent. See you guys in the comments and thanks for watching. You guys ready for me to fail? Investigations sector. Okay, I'm going to need you guys to help me out with the combat here because I'm so rusty, so... I'm going to be making a lot of rookie mistakes. Why is this so dark? Oh. Hello? Anyone here? Guess not. Seems a lot more crowded than the rest of the bureau. I forgot the hot key to... Shit, what was new? Unread. Missing agents. Missing agents. 2017, Mr. Kirkland. Here... Our latest agents confirmed missing, presumed dead from the containment breach yesterday. Agent Jonathan Connor, Cruz, Dempsey, Malcolm, Murray, and Shaw. I don't know if this is what I just picked up, but I hope it is. Letters of condolence will be delivered to you to sign prior to sending them to their families. You will be updated as soon as additional confirmations are made. Also, per your request, a network engineer checked how many cases were backed up digitally. Unfortunately, a large number of active investigations were not archived yet, and the only hard copies of reports exist behind the firebreak. They're lost, I'm afraid. What button is it to open the collectibles? Again. Tractor supplement. Note. Miscommunication led to a local coroner examining the body of William Burrow. William Burrow, male Caucasian, case summary. 33-year-old man found dead on his property. Per police report, remains obtained for coroner's office also include blood, urine, bile, stomach contents, and bone fragments. Autopsy findings. Blunt force injuries to the head, lacerations, left ear and cheek, plus blunt force injuries to extremities, dislocation of the right knee, complete avulsion of the uh, right upper extremity with associated fracture of the proximal right humerus, extensive trauma in the abdominal region, complete avulsion of multiple organs, including stomach, heart, liver, pancreas, kidneys, and portions of the large and small intestine 
all missing from the scene. Conclusion, it is my opinion that Mr. Burrow's death is not the result of a mechanical accident. As claimed by authorities, the removal of organs is consistent with animal attack. Animal attack. Is it supposed to be this dark? Do I have a flashlight or something? <laughs> Resignation letter. 2019. To whom it may concern. It is with great anger and regret that I tender my resignation as head of investigations uh, for the Federal Bureau of Control. I do this in protest of the rampart, rampant disregard for my department's blank. My staff cannot continue to work in these conditions. Previous requests and warnings have fallen on deaf ears, so I must now rely on my actions to speak louder than my words ever could. I blame this situation on our Blink, who has routinely ignored my requests for assistance in reclaiming the parts of the investigation sector lost to the Blink loose inside. I will never forget the screams of brave agents begging for us to open that fire break. I will, call, I will carry that shame for the rest of my days. The Blink has failed his agents. I shall never forgive him for that. Sincerely, William Kirkland. Hmm. It's not working. Probably a loose power core somewhere. Oh, there we go. I did it. Mr. Dennis. So yes, there's an increase in AWE cases, and yes, it would be a good idea to put together a special task force to examine exactly why that is. However, it seems that a tiny little detail has slipped through the cracks. We don't have the damn staff. If you expect us to detect, investigate, and process more AWE cases, you need to give us more people. It's simple math. Between the staff we lost in the Hartman thing and the ones who left for other departments after Kirkland quit, we're barely managing to keep up with the workload. Hell, just filing the paperwork for all the altered items we left behind in the sector has been an ordeal. Another thing, and this is going to sound paradoxical, paradoxical, but we have an overcrowding situation. This lobby isn't meant to accommodate a whole sector's worth of staff. We put forward a motion to move investigations to a more suitable location months ago. It better not still be sitting on your desk. The people are getting restless as Kirkland's interim replacement. It's your job to handle it. Best regards, Agent Grayson. Oh, I can zoom in? <laughs> I can zoom in. Just now learning this. Where I was supposed to put that thing. Oh my. Um. Maybe I'm supposed to keep that there, and maybe there's another one I need to put somewhere. We need to like put power on this side. Can we go up there. Let's go upstairs. It is so hard to see anything. Is it supposed to be this dark? Cauldron Lake update. Okay, now we're getting into some interesting stuff. Hey, Red Mage, by the way. To Chief Investigator investigator <laughs> to chief investigator dennis it happened again third time this year something certainly has it out for our blank could be raccoons the locals certainly complain about them enough but why the hell would raccoons keep going after a monitoring station doesn't add up anyway i've got a bureau tech going to the site next week to take a look 
Next on the list of recurring problems is the staff at the lake house research station. How am I supposed to effectively keep an eye on blank lake if they won't let me see any data? Hell, I don't even know what they're researching out there. We need to petition them again to share their info with investigations agents. It's only a matter of time before this blank hits again and I want to be prepared. Anyway, if anyone at HQ asks why the Bright Falls report is a little thin this month, tell them it's because we couldn't take any readings. In the meantime, I might invest in some raccoon traps. Sincerely, Agent Estevez. So was Dr. Hartman's place part of like the FBC, but they were kind of like doing their own thing? Or am I confused? There's so many things to read. I'm so excited. I love reading shit in this game. Official findings report regarding Dr. Raya Underhill summary. Dr. Raya, Un Raya Underhill is a professor at the University of Woodrow in the United Kingdom where she teaches biology with a focus on botany. Dr. Underhill Dr. Underhill once worked with the Bureau as a parabotanist stationed in the research sector of the oldest house. She served with no incidents or demerits and is praised by those who formerly worked with her, including Dr. Darling. Dr. Underhill has no known connections to paracriminal organizations or any record of breaching her NDAs since leaving the Bureau. Her civilian behavior has been ideal, with the exception of an ongoing personal relationship with Dr. Darling that appears to have begun during their time as co-workers in the research sector and revisited intermittently ever since. Depending on the duration of her work in the oldest house, it may be required to have both parties sign a relationship clearance form. This investigation has found no compelling reason to deny Dr. Darling's request to offer Dr. Underhill an interim position with the aid of finding a solution to the mold threshold incident or issue. Yeah, I remember we dealt we dealt with that. That was a fun one. I did that off stream though. Unfortunately. Director investigation. Summary. Oh, this is a very blanked out report here, but I'll do my best. <laughs> per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, blank 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 was launched into the blank of Director Zachariah Trench. A recent change in blank witnessed in Director Trench, including aggressive blank when blank with other staff has been observed. However, this investigation is aimed at interpreting this issue rather than proving it. Noble blank between Director Trench and Dr. Darling has been witnessed by numerous bureau staff. Although both declined to meet for an interview on the matter, witness accounts suggest their arguments center around the dimensional research wing and the blank kept inside. However, no evidence exists to confirm Director Trench's blank as anything more than interpersonal disagreements. The investigation has concluded that Dr uh, Director Trench's behavior is not indicative of any way of any blank and that his fitness to lead is not in question. Refer to file blank for full report. Well, we know that Director Trench was not fit to lead. after he got infected by the hiss, or taken over by the hiss, or influenced by the hiss, whatever it was. Kirkland. I am growing tired of your blatant attempts to lay your incompetence at my doorstep. I know you want this to be true, but you are head of event investigations. This failure is your responsibility. What did you think would happen holding a dangerous specimen in investigations? The containment sector exists for a reason. They are better trained and better equipped for this type of work. In fact, they have admirably taken on certain AWE monitoring responsibilities that your staff are no longer capable of. This happens more and more now. And don't think you, your petty internal investigations have gone past my notice. You are a worm. Everything I've done has been for the benefit of the Bureau. The Prime Candidate program only failed because of Darling. You are both failures, plotting against me. You are traitors, but the truth will emerge of you. You are choosing to become my enemy, Kirkland. You don't want to be. 
Zachariah Trench, director of the FBC. Ooh. Oh my. Uh, oh, there's no progress up here, it doesn't look like. So, I still don't know what we're supposed to do to get through this door. She won't say the thing again. Oh, can we go up here? Hold on. There might be more stuff to explore. Can I get through here? Kirkland, we stopped at Keystone on our way to the target AWE like you asked. I'm sending my report directly to you to try and keep a lid on this Grumman Morales desertion issue. We didn't find any sign of them here. Given their records, it is possible they've switched teams like you suspected. But I don't think that's the case. An event definitely occurred here in Keystone, and I think Grumman and Morales got caught up in it. The entire population has vanished into thin air. Reminds me of the ordinary case, but that was just the adults if I'm remembering the file correctly. This is different. I think our guys are casualties, not traitors. If it was an AWE, it seems to be over. We walked through the whole town and the only strange thing we noticed were markings on various buildings. Two overlapping circles with a dot in the shared space. Could be unrelated. I'll show you the pictures when I get back. In the meantime, you should send a team out here to cordon this air, uh, this place off and maybe get the comms guys working on a cover story. Sincerely, Agent Keenum. How are you going to cover up a whole population just vanishing? How do you even begin to fabricate a lie to explain that? Bureau Tractor. Item is not in bureau custody, none known. Description, altered effect. A Frank Elk tractor, olive green, dried blood on the grill when last seen. Item is capable of vocalized responses or growls and unmanned locomotion, considered highly aggressive and dangerous. The item first came to the bureau's attention after the death of William Burrow, owner of Burrow Farm outside of Trenton, Texas. Local authorities arrived on scene after an employee found the mutilated body of Mr. Bro beneath his tractor. Police arrived but were immediately driven away by the tractor. Panicked calls to federal authorities were intercepted by Bureau Communications staff. A team was dispatched. Upon arrival, the agents approached the item. It responded by growling like a bear. Three agents were injured when they tried to detain the item, which escaped. Aerial searches for the item are ongoing. Speaking to Mrs. Bureau, Burrow only revealed that she had a domestic altercation with Mr. Burrow earlier the night of the incident. Whether these events are connected is currently unknown. A psycho? Ah. Oh, what is this? Official findings report to the Prime Candidate Program, internal and confidential. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, internal investigation P1429 was launched into the legality of the Prime Candidate Program by the FBC. Since all known subjects, subjects relevant to the investigation used executive privilege to decline interviews, my very little first-hand information was gathered. However, anonymous sources and documentation declassified by Mr. Kirkland both paint an alarmingly clear picture of systematic blank and blank. Blank were brought into the oldest house and placed under blank examination and testing with the aim of appointing one as director upon maturity. The, this program has produced no successful cases and only resulted in the traumatic blank of paranaturally inclined blank. Not only is this in breach of the ASH Act, but it flies in the face of basic human blank. 
This investigation team unequivocally blank the prime candidate program re and recommends that it be blank immediately. So that is the program that Jesse and um, her brother, what was her brother's name again? We're part of candidates to be the next director. Dylan. And unfortunately for Dylan, it did not go very well for him. So I think we know where we need to take this, but can I, um, can I go through the glass here? Yeah. Because I don't think it's getting through this. I can barely get through this. There we go. There we go. Just ignore me while I push all these random buttons on accident. Specimen escape assessment. The purpose of Internal Investigation X0397 is to examine the containment failure of specimen SI1 that resulted in the deaths of blank agents. An inspection report of the containment equipment three days earlier showed no faults. Investigators suspect human error to be the cause, yet no department has provided any evidence to support this. Technicians were able to recover the researchers' notes on the specimen from the internal network. On the blink of blink, the specimen began displaying a sharp increase in aggressive blink, cross-referencing that date with various logs found only two events inconsistent with the sector's daily routine. One, the air filters were changed, and two, an hour prior to the incident, a civilian named Alice Blink entered the sector regarding an unrelated investigation. Given their connection to the same AWE case, it is likely that Mrs. Blank's presence is relevant to the uh, specimen's escape and to the Blank. Investigation is ongoing. <gasps> Take control. Dun -dun 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 I'm no detective, but something definitely happened here. Do we know each other? Wait. I feel... this feels familiar. I can't seem to... I, I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. I'm... My name is Alan Wake. Don't like the sounds. friend Tom. Tom Zane. There's nothing to worry about. Tom. The poet. The diver. You, you look different. That was just a, a role. A character. The protagonist I played in my, my old film. I'm a filmmaker. An auteur like yourself. We're working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. You need a drink. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> He's trapped in Night Springs. We gotta save him. Oh. 
happening that was alan wake the writer who went missing in that awe case i read about what's he doing here and thomas zane was with him the poet no wait th th he was a filmmaker i i always remember that wrong <laughs> I think I broke it. No one gets anything. Sorry. the key this was one of my favorite parts of this game the Dark ocean view Lord. motel devoured by hungry darkness became the thing that had been Hartman. broke loose killed everyone it could lurking roaming waiting then something else came a resonance the thing that had been Hartman went through another change So we can watch the full thing. Dr. Emil Hartman was desperate. The Federal Bureau of Control had stolen his life's work. This was his last chance, his final experiment. What he'd been too scared to do before. Hartman dove into the lake, was taken, devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Only an echo of him remained, fragmented impulses on autoplay, violent, bloodthirsty darkness in the driver's seat. Emerging from the lake, the thing was captured by the FBC, brought in, contained, studied. The thing broke loose, killed everyone it could. The FBC fell back and sealed the sector. The thing was alone in the dark, lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. Not darkness, but similar enough. A sound. A resonance. It shouldn't be a surprise. If there's one, why not another? The darkness inside the thing could have been immune, could have resisted, fought, could have been passed by, passed through with no effect. But it didn't, and it wasn't. Maybe it had grown weaker over time, not aged. It was timeless, but weaker with no link to its source. A metamorphosis followed. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. I 
I feel like we're gonna have to fight this thing that had been Hartman. So Hartman jumped into the lake and then got taken over by the darkness? And then got captured by the FBC, killed a bunch of people, and then they just like closed the section off. The section that we're in, and then we're gonna run into this thing? Is that... Does that sound about right? Criminal Profile, the Blessed Organization. This group slash individual has operated outside of the Bureau's notice for decades, perhaps longer, displaying a level of skill and caution rarely seen in paracriminal groups. A review of past cases has found various mentions of their activity over the years. In 2016, a production company called Blessed Pictures was connected to an altered item case, as well as the death of an agent from exposure to illicit paranatural materials. In 1994, a Los Angeles-based public speaker named Chester Bless was involved in the illegal use of an altered item. In 1988, a business called Blessed Repair and Service was suspected of involvement with an object of power case, perhaps even creating it. None of these businesses or individuals have ever been located. However, their connection to appearances of altered items and objects of power is too direct to be considered circumstantial. An arrest order has been issued by for any persons believed to be involved with the blessed organization. Huh. An elusive whoops organization. Oh wow, this is this whole place we get to explore? This is huge. We go over there. I guess so. Run. We don't want any of that. I think we just have to keep going this way. I'm not sure. Here we go. Creepy, damp, and abandoned. I forgot those title I cards. You want me to come here? Forgot about those title cards. Okay, investigation sector. We have made it. It is dark as all heck. I guess. I guess it makes sense. Lots of darkness going on in Alan Wake's eel. Filing and processing. Oh my god, I just destroyed the whole damn door. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to check out our mods real quick. All right, so we want probably uh, fives and sixes and probably deconstruct these threes and probably some of these fours too. Give me one second here. 
We'll figure that stuff out more later. My shit floating like that? That doesn't look like a house shift. That is... Do I even want to know? So weird. to do with the DLC um I'm just revisiting the game mostly just to do this DLC and then we're gonna be we're gonna be through uh oh oh no our first combat situation already okay cool where did uh, they just they just snuck up right next to me weapons <laughs> ah! all right let's switch to spin we go that was better that was better right we did it we didn't die foot gossip hello my feet gossip at night and now i have to wear shoes to bed sincerely me you poor soul you poor poor soul I would die if I had to wear shoes to bed. Uh-uh. I wear nothing. Nothing. In the nude. It's the only way I'm comfortable. Anybody else? Nude sleepers? Just me? Am I weird? Or a soul. I didn't even <laughs> I didn't even do that on purpose. <laughs> but that's a good one. I didn't even realize. Unintentional puns are the best. Make sure we don't miss anything. I want to read all the things, especially about feet. Hartman arrest. Victim names. Alan Wake, Tor Anderson, Odin Anderson, Rudolph Lane, Wendy Desley, Thomas Emerson and blank. Officer names Dennis Special Agent Remy. Charges. Code 4. Kidnapping of altered individuals. 
Code 8, sanctions against altered organizations. Code 37, obstruction of bureau investigation. Code 74, breaching the ASH Act. Six counts. Offenders, property seized as evidence to be used in conjunction with an ongoing AWE investigation. Offenders' personal effects have been sent to research for analysis. After being cleared by bureau researchers, all victims have been released. Biannual surveillance orders were assigned to each, except the Anderson brothers. Due to their senility, 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 and wake, possibly deceased. Oh, he's not deceased. But he might be batshit crazy by the time we get to him. Um... Well, let's try this way. What could possibly go yes. wrong? Darkness is blocking the Aim door. a powerful light so source of the darkness now to... Now have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. Oh man. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, well we're doing we're killing stuff with light again. This seems familiar. Ooh. That doesn't look good. There's that mold stuff. Shooter dodge efficiency. Okay, filing, processing, fire break, operation center, and active investigations. Um, well, our current objective is telling us to go to active investigations. The third thing. The sound made darker, the darkness made louder. Let's just go straight to the... The full video, yeah? Resonance carves its way through the thing that had been Artman, vibrating, remolding. The sound changes the darkness, and the darkness changes the sound. They both changed what remained of Artman. They all turned into something else. A third thing. The sound made darker. The darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched. Stretched as anyone when seen from out of time, like a worm through time. Almost... An Ouroboros, a spiral, a maelstrom. The gravity well of a black hole, twisting inward, tightening, taking you deeper and deeper to the bottom, the heart, and through to the other side. The third thing said, when you hear this, you will know you're a new you. He said, we build you till nothing remains. He said, under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these ways to drag you away. He said, baby, baby, Maybe, yeah. Orange, Orange peel. peel. The third thing was a monster. He'd tear apart any ordinary person crossing his path. Now he crashed out of darkness toward Faden. There was nothing ordinary about Faden. Hartman was. 
was stretched like a worm through time. Hmm. The third thing Nothing was ordinary her. about Faden. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. I see what they did there. Okay, so we need a light source. We need a little power thing here, a little cuby cube. Reminder, all employees are required to report their hours at the end of each month. The Federal Bureau of Control maintains that time is not subjective, and hours passed on alternative planes cannot be claimed. Astral dives do not accumulate overtime compensation. Thank you for your attention. Ugh, I know it's supposed to be, but this whole place is so dark and I don't like it. I know it's thematically supposed to be like that, but goddamn. Agent Fisher, day six of Fabian Hotel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. Tripwire, triggering a flash camera across the main entrance, even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are varying at best, but mostly just inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted. Sometimes even the equipment is damaged. I don't know how exactly. I uh, I think this place is making fun of me. That's the only explanation. I, I can hear them laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I can hear the call bell going ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. This poor guy. Whoever they are, I think. Wait, shh. There's something. I gotta get this. Gotta get the cable out. Come on, you fiber optic fuck. Cooperate. Okay, there we go. No! That's it? Did he get it? Did he get what he needed? Oh, it's not over. this time or I swear to God. What? Hello? Who's there? Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a... Now is it over? Okay, now it's over. Um, interrogation complaint. Kirkland, so you put me on desk duty just because I did the thing I was fucking hired to do. My job. Wanna know what I call that? Bullshit. Asking us to interrogate these scum without using words like altered items or AWEs or paracriminal is the stupidest thing I've heard in my life. And I've heard some fucking stupid things. They already know the facts. Hell, they know just as much as us, if not more. And they get to sit there laughing at us while we dance around our words, trying not to like classified terminology. They already know the fucking terminology. If you think pulling me off the case will stop me, then think again. That piece of shit blew up those tracks. He killed those people, all to make a train turn altered. We have him dead to you. We have him dead to rights, and you need to you need to let me back in that interrogation cell so I can get him to flip on his buddies. These people are terrorists and deserve to be treated as such. This won't stop unless we stop them. You can go ahead and put me on suspension. See if it if that slows me down. Agent Hewitt. Sounds like Mr. Hewitt, or Miss Hewitt, means business.
I recognize that voice. But hold on. We'll get there. Black market. Illegal altered item market. A black market hub specializing in the trade of occult talismans, relics, and other assorted ceremonial objects, as well genuine altered and paranatural materials was raided in blank Czech Republic by a team of in a special investigators. Unsuspect unsuccessful attempts by suspects to escape using altered items resulted in numerous casualties and prevented the bureau from questioning all participants the following interrogations revealed that not only is there a vast network of these retailers but that they seem to be gathering information on altered items and other paranatural materials from sources unknown to the bureau the bureau's concern here is threefold a. There is a growing underground market for paranatural materials, which implies a growing awareness of their existence among a niche group of the general public. B. These criminals, criminal individuals do not seem aware of the item's paranatural powers and their attempts to activate them could prove devastating if done in populated areas. And C. The motivations of these collectors are largely unknown. A black market for altered items. Yeah, that's not good. What's this? NASA Cooperation Review Following the NASA FBC Coordination Agreement of 1972, the Bureau has provided NASA with numerous technological advances based on our research, including the black rock lining now found in all spacefaring vessels. In return, all data gathered during space missions is made available for Bureau researchers to analyze. Recently, certain individuals have raised the concern that this relationship does not adequately benefit the Bureau, either intellectually or financially. A thorough examination of the costs accrued by both organizations has shown that the expense of NASA's recent launch of the blank far outweighs any spending related to the processing and delivery of Black Rock. From its medium Earth orbit, the blank will provide the Bureau with an unparalleled resource for remotely monitoring and photographing AWE sites, a resource that would be lost if the partnership ends. It is the opinion of the committee that maintaining a cooperative relationship with our colleagues at NASA is of vital importance. Ah. Okay. Oh. Side quests? Hmm. Darkness everywhere. New day, same old bloody city, said the old man. Like dark, but good for nothing. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. <laughs> oh, Artie. The vents, they are full of mold shit. Mold shit. No good for you. No good for you. No shit. Mold. Depression. Ah, more plants. All right, let's go make some new friends. Hmm, his voice is so, his singing voice is so good. It's so good. All right, I cannot, I cannot see anything. I literally can't see. Uh, we can't get through here for some reason. This is that, oh, this is a different restroom. like we have to go upstairs. Was this the other restroom that we were in? Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, this is where we came from originally. Um, I'm so lost. Hold on. A 
this is not good. That's not how you run. Progress. Eek, that's bright. We have here Eagle Limited summary. A train derailment resulting in tw uh, 62 casualties and numerous injuries was suspected to have been the work of a paracriminal group known as Blank. As a result of this event, the agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered with a persistent auditory event. It remains to be determined whether the AWE was spontaneous or the direct result of the sabotage. The Bureau had been tracking said group at the time, and the intel gathered suggested an event of this caliber was imminent in Bloomington. As a result, a response team was on site was able to respond to the train accident site within minutes of, it, of its occurrence. They arrived to find emergency processes underway, but also equipment left behind by the suspected um, group. A suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact. Further investigation of the accident site revealed a curiously undamaged train car that exhibited an altered state when entered. This individual car was secured and transported to the investigation. So this is... they were, That guy was trying to uh, interrogate. But they wouldn't let him use terms like AWE and such. And it was quite frustrating. All right, what do we have here? The shadow. Paranatural entity A010, aka the shadow, is an aggressive blank consisting of three known types. Type A, hey, hey. <laughs> type A, localized manifestations of sentient blank capable of occupying organic and inorganic material as well as exerting blank over its surroundings. Type B, shaded individuals, Human bodies blank by the shadow, these individuals become notably more aggressive, but do seem to retain blank of their pre previous selves. Research is ongoing as to whether this condition is reversible. Type C, shaded objects similar to type B, except that inanimate objects are blank solely to be used as destructive tools. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, possibly targeting cer certain individuals which may imply a shared link to a blank intelligence. The threat of this entity poses warrants immediate exploration of offensive slash defensive measures. The investigation sector is being outfitted with additional lighting sources, some internally powered, to prepare for the eventuality of an outbreak <laughs> of an blank. So this sounds like um, the darkness that we were dealing with in Alan Wake. Taking over human bodies and... Um, other things, um, inanimate objects and whatever. Yeah, we, we know all about that. of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness, both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry, against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists. I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. 
The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness, or did their work perhaps even create it? With Wake now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. Well, we know that it did not end well for this guy. Okay, now I think we need to take this guy. Oh, thank you, there's light. Also some bitches. Oh my god! <laughs> Hold on a second. I thought that was an enemy. Can I get out of here? How do I get down? What are we fighting? Tomasi? Remembering. It's not really that complicated, right? <laughs> you shoot, you throw shit, you shoot some more, you take control of things. Active investigations. Uh, I don't feel right. Uh oh. Something in this darkness is draining me. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Let me guess. This doesn't work? Oh, I guess it does. Nope, Shit. it doesn't. Now what? Oh. What is that? Oh no. Come on, elevator, time to go. Oh. That's not good. Oh, that is gr oh, gross. Activate the lights to defeat the creature.
back. Fucked it up. Night Springs screenplay, page one. It is only human nature to wish to control the forces around us, and even more so to possess them. But what happens when those forces are not ours to claim, or even of this world? What if they are the things you can discover? In Night Springs. We are in a secret lab. The large sign on the wall reads the Federal Bureau of Night Springs. Scientists. I told you several times, Director. It isn't ready. It's ready when I say it's ready, Doctor. But the being beyond the portal, we have no control over it. We need page two. Oh, there's one. There's one. Where'd my little doohickey go? Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Aha! What's all this? Shum? Come to Shamurai. Oh no, no, I'm dying. I'm dying. Uh oh, we need one more. <gasps> okay, he just teleported on me. Read this one? No, we didn't. Oh shit. Vending machine. Containment procedure. None known testing in the investigation sector is currently ongoing. A vending machine, it's front covered in a faux wood panel. Coin operated buttons for selecting food products. The item generates and stores a variety of materials, both edible and otherwise, in its row of internal trays. Initial testing suggests the item reacts to the mind of the individual in closest proximity and will produce whatever they subconsciously desire. Attempts to cause the item to create a living blank have consistently failed. Background. The item was discovered in a nursing home in Blank, Alberta, after a resident named Muriel Blank called a local news station about a magic vending machine. The news story reported that the nursing home staff was purposefully stocking the machine with distinctive food and objects as a way to raise resident spirits. The bureau response team encouraged this story while confiscating the item. Okay. Uh, have a good night, Mike. You sleep well. Okay, where was my box of goodies at? Oh my god, he does so much damage. Oh, in here.
run. Stay in the light. Did my thing make it over here? It did not. my thing. background. Dr. Emil Hartman is an academic psychotherapist that owned and operated a recovery center in Blank, Washington, focused on the treatment of artists struggling with creative blocks and other mental disorders. Alright, where were we? It scared the shit out of me. Publicly, Dr. Hartman's treatment center seemed unremarkable in its methods and purpose. Privately, however, Dr. Hartman was abusing his patients in order to utilize any latent blank abilities they may possess with the aim of shaping blank to his own benefit, which has earned him a class two paracriminal designation. Note, for more on the link between artists and their ability to blank reality through artistic medium C file blank. Investigation has proven that Dr. Hartman's illegal endeavors were conducted alone. After being approached by the Bureau during the Blank investigation, he displayed no remorse or intention to cease his actions. Dr. Hartman was taken into custody, custody evaluated, and released Blank months later, having been deemed a negligible threat. His medical license has been permanently revoked. They had him for months? I think there's still some lights I need to turn on. I don't want to go down there, man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see something. There we go. Dude, look at this thing. Ugh. Oh, he's getting away. Yeah, how do you like that? He doesn't like it. He does not like it. Okay, explore. Well, I kind of already explored. I didn't see this though. How the heck am I supposed to Ocean View Motel uh, Observation Report. An excursion into the Ocean View Motel and Casino discovered a previously unseen door in the lobby hallway. This door featured a spiral-shaped marking. Designation door blank. Similar to the other doors, it is locked and cannot be forced open. Alice Wake, a person of interest in the Bright Falls AWE, refer to AWE 35 for details, and the former wife of missing author Alan Wake, former wife? What do you mean, former wife? He ain't dead. A suspected para-utilitarian and blank. Contacted agents Shaw and Dempsey of the investigation sector using the phone number given to her in 2010 in accordance with civilian outreach protocols. The call resulted in Mrs. Wake being brought into the oldest house for an in-person interview. For a full transcript, refer to file blank on blank 2017. The excursion into... Ocean View Motel occurred later that same day. Conclusion. Determining whether this was a basic synchronicity event, if Alice Wake is responsible for its appearance, or if the door itself relates to AWE 35 is paramount. 
She should be returned to the oldest house, possibly even taken into the motel itself to confirm if any other changes occur. Ooh, is that the door that we found Wake behind? The spiral? Yeah, it was, right? Okay, what else did we not look at in this place? Or did we, did we get everything? We went in here. I don't see anything. Okay, I think we explored pretty thoroughly. So now what? Probably going up the elevator, huh? Let's just make a double... Nope. Nope, nope. Okay. I think we're good. Move on. There was something else on the shelves, you think? Oh. Investigation. Langston. Jesus, don't scare me like that, Langston. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. Aha! There was something else on these shelves. Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hammond. I do? Tell me about Delivery Disaster. You do? The movie? I don't. I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night. With a, you know, a K. Not an N. Not, not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes me look smart. And I thought if I looked smart, I would get listeners. My podcast would take off and I could live in my parents' basement. I may even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. <sighs> okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. <laughs> oh, Brian, I believe in you, Brian. Follow your dreams. Get out of your mama's basement. <laughs> Oh, he was like, I just wanted to look smart by reviewing an obscure film and giving it a high score. <laughs> oh, boy. I love Brian. I am Brian, you know? I think deep down we all are Brian. You know? In some way or another, we're all Brian. All right, Langston, let's say hi. Langston, it's me, Jesse. I know, I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess, you sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp? Oh, yeah, flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. You can wrap them around. Christmas I don't lights. Have any of those you could wrap them around. <laughs> Shit. Okay, uh, well. I'm sure you'll think of <gasps> This is what that I'll made this whole deal seem worth it. This is kind of exciting, right? Call back to Maybe Barry's Christmas light, Sash. Right. Okay. <laughs> well, uh Break a leg. Oh, why did I say that? Okay. This Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Langston was right. 
This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want I don't know brag. why people are making it so personal. <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race though, I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, people talk. Not me though, I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. He's of course, just talk forever, can't always make it home. <laughs> time, so I have my neighbor check in on Alfred at seven o'clock if I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name is Maria. She's older. She came to New York in the 50s to attend school and has been here ever since. She has a couple of kids. I met them at Thanksgiving. Big family. Very nice people. Anyway, she has a key to my apartment, and she gives Alfred his dinner if I'm not home. I'm gonna have to buy her a nice fruit arrangement as a thank you after this. I'm missing a lot of Alfred's mealtimes. She's probably gonna have to go to the store for more wet food. I'll have to remember to pay her back. Hold on, let me make a note. Pay back Maria for Alfred's food. Okay. Oh, one more thing. And buy her a fruit arrangement. All right, done. Are you a cat person? I don't think I ever asked. You seem like one, though. You'd like Alfred. He's very proper, really carries himself well, you know? I named him after my favorite poet. Felt like a good fit. I got Alfred just before Sylvia died when I was at the... Huh. You know, I don't really remember where I got Alfred from. But, boy, those two did not get along. Oh, ho, ho, no, no, no. Sylvia thought she owned the place. Didn't like me getting in her way. Scratched me more than once when I was just trying to move her food bowl. That cat was a real asshole. Wow. I'm realizing now that that That's language was not harsh. entirely, um, professional. You see, Sylvia didn't tolerate most people, or animals, or anything, and that's what I meant. How much I dialogue did they record asshole. for this? I would never use that word about a person. It was just, uh, you know, uh, hey, there's a light flashing on the console here. I got to, uh, check this out. I'll get back to you later. Real smooth, Langston. Okay, we made it. You never listened to it all? <laughs> well, now you have. Now all of you have. You're welcome. Ooh, look at that. Bright Falls AWE. Eagle Limited AWE. From Morrow AWE. Oh, there's all these different AWEs we can explore. Find Hartman in the From Morrow or the Eagle Limited. Okay, so we gotta go to one of these. Let's go here first. This is exciting! So exciting! We have procrastinated enough. I don't know why I keep thinking that is my run button. That- I think that's the run button. Yeah, that- in Alan Wake? That- this is the run button. But in here, it's not. So that's a little bit confusing. I wonder if I should, ch I kind of want to change back into the janitor outfit. This is a really cool outfit though. 
I do like this one. This is one of my favorites. The director outfit was kind of... Kind of eh. I think we have to change the outfit here at one of these points. But I don't remember... How do you do it again? How do you change outfit? Oh, the one at Central Executive. That's right. I remember that now. Wait, let's see. We're at... Oh, from Moro. Okay, I'm going to change the outfit. I think I want... Uh, let me see what we have. Okay, so we have civilian. Janitor's assistant. The asynchronous. The director's. I don't like that one. I don't like the hair. Um, candidate, P7, and office assistant. Oh, we've never used the office assistant one. I don't think. But I don't like it. I mean, I, I like it, but... I gotta go janitor. We gotta go janitor for a bit. This feels right. Well, since we don't have time to, like, do this main stuff fully, let's, uh, let's start this quest for the gold outfit, because I'm kind of curious what this looks like. Not quest, but where, where do I go? Where do, where do we go? We can at least start this tonight. Okay, here's the warp point. Here's the door. Okay. Hmm, is it in here maybe? We never unlocked this. Oh man. I bet there's so many doors that I never unlocked with my clearance. Um. Okay. Thought I could read something there. They're just lights. Well, this looks like some kind of puzzle. Lucky item manifest. Bronze koi fish China attracts abundance and wealth. Feng, feng shui. Horseshoe, Ireland, wards off evil. Orientation important. Heels up allows luck to be kept. Heels down, luck flows outward. Maneki Neko, Japan. Beckoning cat used in shops. Paw held up to beckon customers, creating luck for the business owner. Four leaf clover, Ireland. Shamrock, rare plant variation. Connections to druidic healing rituals. Elephant, China. Protection, good luck, wisdom, feng shui. Light bulb, Various. Documented gambling rituals indicate luck is produced when all lights in the room are turned on. Note. Effects of items to be tested. Consider investigating the orientation of horseshoe. Also consider positioning of feng shui objects. Proximity of luck items may have influ influence, may influence luck readings. Ah, oh, the lucky items in luck and probability. Oh, what is this? Question mark, question mark. The back, the table. Hmm, I don't get it. Okay, so I believe we turned all the lights on. Not sure what I'm trying to accomplish here. What in the fuck? What? No. No. 
Oh, look. The numbers are changing. Oh. oh my god. What am I doing? I'm destroying everything. Oh god. What is... Maybe I should stop messing with it. I don't know what I've done. I don't know what I'm doing, video game expert. Okay, so question. Does this room have anything to do with the gold outfit? <laughs> Both rooms. Okay, so I am in the right place. Okay, so clover, light bulb, and fish. I don't know why they have a green check mark on them. Over. the fish but I can't interact with it hmm? food has arrived Ugh. but I want to finish this Okay, well, I have the clover in my possession. Oh. A clock. Fuck it up. The phone was ringing. I didn't answer it. Okay, um. I think maybe I need all three lucky items present. So, like, the lights, the four leaf clover, and the fish? Maybe I just need to take it with me. Bring it in the room? Shit, I broke it.
we want it to land on seven? Is that what we're trying to go for? I don't know. Am I getting closer? We got it to six. Do I just have to keep trying or do I, do I have to do something else? I need more objects. Oh, maybe I just need to bring them all in here. Or do something with them. Change the rotation of the, or the alignment of the horseshoe. The cat is going. I turn that one off. Come on, seven. All right, let me go back to that other thing that I turned off and turn it back on. Okay, so one of these must actually be unlucky. There's got to be a clue somewhere. I don't think you're supposed to just randomly try different combinations. did we read again? I did, is there any kind of clue in, in that note? I don't even know how I would find it again though. So... Two feet. Less than two feet. The fish? Does the fish need to be closer? <laughs> Needs to be less than two feet away from what? Oh my god. Okay, Hasbana's gonna get mad at me. I need to go eat dinner. But let's go see our golden outfit! Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> in- in the- where- when we saw it at first, it looked like a really ugly, like, mustard brown but it looks a little bit better on her but i don't know if i really like it <laughs> i don't know if i'm a fan it's nice to collect the outfits though we could roll with this for a while so i think did we just come up the elevator and then are we going here
Ah. Straight into the fights, I see. They're not going to give me any kind of break. mine. You can be on my team for a bit. Hell yeah. Ooh, Comic-Con. Very cool. You bought some nice acrylic poster and many more. Many, many more stuff. Ah. Yeah, it, it, you have to have a lot of self-control when you go to a place like that because they're always selling so many awesome things. And it's really hard not to buy everything that you see. Hmm. I need a flashlight to get to this. Or some kind of light source. How do I get through here, though? Oh, I need this. Oh my god, I, I'm still pushing the wrong buttons. Just ignore me. Not really as great as the and efficient as the flashlight, is it? The way that we have to carry it with our powers. That's okay. Looks like someone made a mess of this place and it wasn't even me this time. Mm, I need another light source. Should I go back and grab that thing or did they bring one for me over here? Oh. Hi. about the existence of these things. There we go. It's coming back to me. Shoom! Oh, I got a mission for it. Look at that. Isn't that convenient? This guy needs to go in there, but I need my light. Why can't I just have, why can't you just carry a flashlight with you? We need to give a name to our little light guy. Jeremy or something. Aha! 
A door opened. Jeremy will light the way. Should have brought Jeremy with me, but I'm sure we can find another Jeremy down here. Hmm, how do we get in this? That's where we came from. We need to open that. Okay. We can carry multiple. You're right. I had forgotten about that. This should help. Doesn't really help with the lighting issue, does it? Yagami? Yagami Raito! We do something with this? Where did he go? Where did he go? The non-man, where did Jeremy go? I thought I left him up here somewhere. Jeremy, where are you? I'm sure there's a light down there, but I thought it might be quicker to just come back up here and get the one where that I knew. Oh, there he is. There you are. Shit. Shit. <gasps> Jeremy? Did we kill Jeremy? Oh no. Oh no. Well now what? This looks like a light, but I can't use it. Alright, well I guess we can start by taking this and putting it over here. I think I need to stop looking for a light source because clearly that I don't need that at the very moment. Instead, we're going to see what this does. Okay, so that moves it back and forth. want it to go all the way and what happens when we put this in there okay well we were a little bit off with our positioning if that's the case. But we were almost there. Stop. I went too far. That should do it. Oh, 
I fucked up. I was too impatient. Hold on. Let's let it do its thing. Okay. Aha! To the lower access. Jeremy! He's back! See, I knew he'd be fine. I knew he'd be okay. Is there anything here I need to... Oh, that's not... Spooky at all. Light up? Damn it. Jeremy! We're just murdering him. We're murdering all of them. Oh, shit. Is that him? Is that Hartman? Yeah, that's gotta be. I've never seen anybody else looking that ugly. That's gotta be him. Oh, it's too dark in here to fight this thing. I see the box over there. Why did the light turn off? Well, I'm gonna die because like I'm one hit away from death. But let's see if we can get some kind of inkling on what we need to do. Where do we need to take this? Two. I'm just gonna run this way. Is that him right in front of me? Quick! Get to the light! Is this the thing I just opened? Or is this a different one? Okay, good. I thought I went into a circle. These things remind me so much of the companion cubes. In Portal. Hmm. Oh dear. So going back does not appear to be the answer. Can I take a look at my wait, no, that's not right. Um hmm. Where is it? that we need to go. Run? Oh, it's a dead end. Okay, um, hmm, interesting. I personally, did not see anywhere to put that little cube. Escape the darkened room. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. I don't know how. I can't see shit. It's way too dark. Where do I put this? Oh my god. It's probably right in front of my face too, guys. Is it right in front of my face? Look at this. 
actor for hire. Dearest Hollywood, have you ever wished you had an actor who could do it all? Who could be a man or a woman, an adult or a child, a dolphin or a Boston Terrier? Well, today is your lucky day. My name is, my name is Gareth Clemens and I'm the world's greatest actor. Not only do I have years of stage experience, but I am an accomplished shapeshifter. Whether you need a misbehaving cat, ferocious wolfman, swashbuckling pirate, or a debonair southern belle, I'm your man. Or am I? I'll be arriving in town on May 11th, 1971, and will be available for meetings and auditions beginning on the 13th. See you in the movies, G. Clemens. Interesting. Escape the darkened corridor. Do I have to go bust through here? Are you serious? we go does this give me get me anywhere i haven't been before though i'm not sure if that was actually the answer mm. and i don't remember seeing any other breakable walls Okay, I might need some help. I might need a hint, because what the actual... Fuck. It's so obvious, isn't it? It's so obvious. I know it is. There's another... Another what? There's another wall that needs breaking? Ah, okay. Well... Oh, there's a wall here. That was hard to spot. In my defense. Let there be light. Okay, now we can be over here on this side, right? Ho ho ho! We've done it. Thank you for the help. Okay, nothing over here. Are we in the Panopticon? Where are we? Oh my lord. never known that I could go here from there because of how dark it is so thank you for showing me that okay we're gonna try this one more time and then we're done playing with you understand Jello, where are you jumbo up and loose and heavy treats Jesus Christ does anyone have any idea what this thing is saying what really? dirt arrange you why are you dirt here? arrange you what the hell do you want Why'd you stow away on that ship? School there in the Eyes many cars and loops through in the back. Wind and Wendy Mitchell. Did he just say Mitchell? 
Was there a Mitchell at NASA? Tubes. You know what? Tubes. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Just send this thing to the guys in research. Let them cut it up or whatever they do. You hear that? They're gonna cut you up, you pain in the ass. Spider time. Spider time. Okay, he healed quite quickly. Um, is there something nearby that's healing them? I don't remember how this works. Also, I'm about to die. Oh, you, you, I remember you. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, well. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm dead already. Oh my God. I have a map. I can't read this damn map. Okay, now we got those guys out of the way. Shit. Oh my god, what? Now you can be mine? Yes, now you can be mine! Haha, -ha, the heels are on my side, bitches! It's not me inviting you to hit me though, please. Are you following me too? No. I think we've done it. We appear to be stuck. There we go. Now we're rolling. Look at us. Best dressed in all of the FBC. Oh no, there's more! Hold on, can I like possibly get some health really quick here? Oh my goodness. Yeah, the enemies in this DLC do quite a bit of damage. You can go from like you're fine to you are not fine very quickly. almost there. I think there's a sniper right over here somewhere. Okay. 
We didn't die that time. Jesse Faden, you're a badass. Okay. Are we good? We have to go down there. Operator. This place is looking a little bit weird. Okay, we need another light source. We need, what was his name? Timothy? <laughs> Jeremy? Jeremy! It was Jeremy, right? Sorry, bud. I didn't forget you. I promise. Okay. I'm just going to freestyle a bit. Freestyle? <clears throat> My mother always said, never talk to strangers. Looks like whatever Always. force had a hold on Hartman isn't mixing yep. well with the his corruption. Always. Leak did call him the third thing. But isn't a stranger just someone you don't know? What if the only thing stopping a stranger from being a friend? This is the worst freestyle ever. Is that word. Stranger. Strange. Er. Er. Langston. Strange like the noises you hear at night when there is no light and you cannot bite. Strange like a rubber duck that follows you around and makes you drop your coffee every time that it quacks because the noise scares you. Then you have to clean up the coffee while the duck stares at you and continues to quack. To quack? Quack. <laughs> quack. Quack. Never again. Never again. I could do better than that. Okay, so Dr. Emil Hartman shaded version. Dr. Um, uh, Dr. Hartman is the first type 2 shaded individual to be examined alive by the Bureau and has proven a valuable asset for our understanding of A010 aka the shadow. Like all shaded individuals, the specimen is constantly shielded by or produces a blank of darkness that makes visual observation difficult. This blank also protects the specimen from harm. During testing, non-lethal ballistics proved ineffective against it. The specimen uses words and phrases that seem to originate from its previous life as a therapist. Some phrases have even be been identified as quotes from Dr. Hartman's book, The Creator's Dilemma. This seems to indicate the host's personality remains blank to some degree. For research purposes, Shaded Hartman was relocated to the Cauldron Lake Lodge replica built for the blank AWE investigation. Oh, researchers hope a familiar setting may trigger new behavior. This experiment has yielded no results thus far. We might find the replica of Cauldron Lake Lodge in this DLC. That would be cool. 
Okay, just like they made a replica of or of the town of Ordinary. Yeah? Okay, so I I feel like I need to go back because I do feel like I missed something. I thought I was taking a di like a separate path, but I think I was going forward. Now I don't know if I'm going to be able to find. I thought there was another way to go. This door? I don't have my light with me, so... Here he is. Come here, little Jeremy. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Is there nothing in here? Not even a note? Nothing? Just... No loot? Just nothing? I came back here for... Nothing? No way. No way. You gotta be kidding me. How rude. Alright, well the good news is we can just go forward then. To the AWE loading bay. Director Faden here. Send backup to my location. Why would the documents be censored for her? Yeah, I I don't really know. Oh my. Night Springs screenplay, page three. The director steps closer to the horrible entity. He reaches out with a steady hand. Wait, do we miss page two? Let's see if we can find page two. Oh, I have allies, okay. Was that all of them? What are you shooting at? What are we sh what are you shooting at? Okay, 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 okay. I'll just be taking that, thank you. did it. We're a badass. Make way for the director. Make way for me, the director. Which way are we going? 
Which way is the director going? Maybe I missed something in here. Some kind of switch. Oh, what about that gaping hole down there? What do you guys think about that? Does that look promising? That that tunnel that's like kind of like really apparent when you're looking at it from the right angle? Worth a shot? correctly these areas with all this um like green and purple mold stuff you can't access it unless you do this side quest with Ullman or what was no Ullman I think Ullman's from Metro um <laughs> whatever that that lady's scientist name was otherwise um you won't be able to go in there because she gave you like some kind of an antidote or not antidote but i don't know something so that you can breathe the spores and not be affected by them i see him The title card drop! Oh my gosh. Okay, so we need light. We need light. And we need to read, because reading is good for you. Butterfly in the sky. Okay, from Moro, AWE7. A paranatural entity arrived on Earth by infiltrating the Apollo 14 lunar mission at an unknown point of their voyage to the Framoro highlands of the moon. Event response. 32 hours after the return of the Apollo 14 command module to Earth, the Bureau was contacted by Mr. Blank, a White House senior official, and instructed to send a small team to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. <sighs> At the base, the team examined the entity and carried out interviews with NASA staff. They learned that four astronauts had returned to Earth instead of the expected three. Each human crew, crew member was inconsistent, insistent that the mission left with four members, though they couldn't name the fourth when asked. The entity seemingly unaffected, uh, seemingly affected their memory to make its presence feel unremarkable. The entity was transported to the oldest house for further investigation. Note, an altercation between NASA security and the investigation team occurred upon their arrival. Mr. Blank called to clarify the matter, though tensions remained high. Bureau jurisdiction and clearance should be defined more clearly with other federal agencies. Well, that's kind of spooky. They came back with an alien. All right, what did that button do? I hear something happening. I see no other light sources anywhere. I don't see any safe place for me to go. I'm not sure what- oh, we can do it again. Oh, that light is moving. How did I not notice that before? Oh, that whole thing is 
is moving up there. How did I not notice that before? Did you guys all notice that? Go this way? Okay, I see places to put this cube. So we can take it back. Oh, oh, there's, is that another cube over there? Oh, this cube. Well, I we missed. Okay. Ah! All right. I was a little bit impatient. I shouldn't have rushed that. I should have stuck with the light and thought about what I was doing. I think I need you back. There. Okay, 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 okay. Run. Uh, elevator. Bye. Woo, okay. Did someone say mass destruction? Baby, 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 baby. Yeah. That ass, though. Legs for days. There. There. One last place for him to hide. Uh. New mission. Gerbil took the top head. Hopefully we'll be able to finish this in time to get to some of this other stuff. But for now, we're just doing the AWE. Now we have to go to the Eagle Limited 
A W E. I nearly killed myself. That was smart. Real smart, Jesse. Hey, Grumpy Carl. What a what an awesome name. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Oh Ever no. Since I got put in charge of the pan -off, Wait, the we already heard this. Different. Like I'm crazy for one. Yeah, we already heard this items. whole spiel. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want I don't to know brag. People are making it so <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day. Okay. Eagle Limited. Any goodies lurking? No? No goodies lurking? Goodies like to lurk in like places saying, you wouldn't expect. Still, I don't know why people are making it so personal. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe I sat here and listened to this before. Thank you guys for joining the raid. Okay, Langston, shut the hell up. I were I was not supposed to listen to his whole speech in one sitting. Well, I did. Okay. <laughs> is a race though. I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years. I hope I hope Darling has a very prominent so role in um control too. You know, I hope we will Not get to, like, I meet him, find him, around. wherever he's at. He's my favorite character in make this game. He's just gonna talk forever. Make make time, so. Yep, he's gonna talk forever. Okay, time to do some fighting stuff. Okay, okay, okay. This is not good. Playing hard to get. There we go. We don't appear to be done yet, but we can heal a bit. book like this and uh, Jedi Fallen Order it's a beautiful thing dude I can't wait for that's another sequel I cannot wait for
I'll let him take care of this. Good job, friendo. Oh. Oh. I thought he died. Mm, it's still like battle music. Are there still enemies? Or is it just because he's... Whoop! Sorry. I guess I killed you for nothing. Oh, there you are! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what? Jeez. I thought you left. I did, I came back. You're calm. We are calm. <laughs> the fuck is a spliff? I have never heard of this term before. Alright, is this something I want? This is probably something I want. Pick that up. Okay. Okay. Now we good. What are we doing? Do we need to move this? Transit bay. We don't need to go there. We need to go to the... Eagle Limited. AWE. So it looks like we need to move this. Is this it? Ah, that must be what you were talking about. I see. I see. Very well hidden, Mr. Game. Wait, please tell me this is going to help me get somewhere. We found little Jeremy, Timothy, Johnson, Frederick, whatever your name is. Thank you for your service. Till we meet again. Right, from now on, no more getting lost, no more getting stuck. Just pure, unadulterated pro progress. You did side quests? Yeah, I'm gonna skip those for now. Director Faden here. Send back up to my location. Let's go! Make way for the director! Make way for the director! Jeez. That's not good. Oh, there's this. 
something healing somewhere. There it is. Nope, not gonna work. That missed. A lot of enemies. Did we win? Where are we now? Oh, we're in here now. Oh, well, there goes my healy bro. of these guys I feel like um the Tomasi fight kind of helped me get used to fighting them I think both of the Tomasi fights that is okay now we're here you believe I'll finish the DLC tonight okay if you believe then I believe if video game expert believes in me, then I will believe in the you that believes in me. How about that? That's backwards. They better not respawn. I'm just trying to figure out where to go. Maybe we need to get up there. This looks promising. Brain missing. Brain missing. To the good for nothings at the security check. I know you took a part of my brain when you put me through that metal detector. I'm not stupid. I know what they're really for. What I don't know is whether taking a part of my brain causes me to lose my memories or to lose sleep. I've been told if you lose sleep, you lose everything else too. That's where you trick us regular people. Now I don't know which is which it is and I can't remember what you did to me. But I can tell you all this much. I don't find this funny at all. I want my memories back. And you can be sure the next time I visit the Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport, I will come and find you and make you fix what you broke. Sincerely, I don't think I will be signing this with my real name. Like I said, I'm not stupid. You can just mind your own business. <laughs> that is a mouthful. <laughs> Some of the letters that these people write. They're so All very right, entertaining. Captain. Was this what you had in mind? Mmm. I'm not trying to do Ati's missions right now, but. 
If we happen to do it, then we happen to do it. I think we missed the little darkness thing. But that's okay. Ah, here's screenplay part two. Okay, so let's read them all. There will be a part four? Hmm. Or maybe, okay, yeah. We'll, we'll wait, we'll wait. We'll wait till part four. We'll read the whole thing. How about that? Is it just four parts? Hopefully we can find part four then. Oddly specific. Yes, indeed. of these things Christ. <laughs> did the Hartman thing do all this We can open this one and this one. You just gotta look at the cords. Follow the cords. So this one's gonna need two. the orange one. It's red. And red. Bingo! Now we have three boxes, so we can open the orange. Sometimes I'm good at puzzles. very rarely so you guys should definitely praise me when when you can when you have a chance so now we want blues didn't realize the dead body there earlier. Thank you, Blue. Hey, Sponge... Uh, Sponge Thought Booty Pants.
Thank you, Shimurai. Alright, now I think all that's left is are the yellow cords here. And our prize is a fun little recording. Reminder, the law of three also applies to all faucets within the oldest house. Be mindful and don't cause any aquatic misconduct. Thank you for your attention. Hmm? I don't remember what the law of three is. It sounds familiar, but did we learn exactly what it was? bad for destroying this place every everywhere i go like i leave a path of destruction but then i remember that i'm direct i'm the director so i can do what i want i'm in charge aha we've made it eagle limited lots of dark corners to hide Move the train forward to activate the lights. god that was like some kind of weird spider shit i did not like it at all shit. what an absolute nightmare this is he seems to be less aggressive in this part, though. Maybe I'm just getting lucky. No, 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 oh, Am I alive? I'm alive. Okay, now what? Okay, the train is lowering. Do we get to ride it? What are we gonna do? Keep out. I'm the director. I hear him. Move the train forward. I think we've moved it forward. Wait, okay, what's... Ah, let there be light! Where is it running off to now? Pursue. What wall did he just slam himself into? Huh. 
Hey, it's me. Oh, no, I can't fight that. Can I not? Hello? Jeez, I couldn't get through. Okay, shaded specimen captured. An alert from the blank Washington monitoring station indicated minor blank activity occurring in the area. Agent Estevez was dispatched to investigate. Inside the blank lodge, he discovered the facility's former owner, Dr. Emil Hartman. He had been converted into a shaded individual and displayed violent behavior characteristic of its type. Agent Estevez alerted the on-site research team to the specimen's presence and with some difficulty it was successfully contained in a black rock cell. The cell and its inhabitant were transported safely back to HQ where the specimen remains detained in the blank sector as part of the blank AWE investigation. Once the investigation is closed, research teams have petitioned to relocate this specimen to their sector for study. Hello? This levitating is pretty cool. I wish I could do it in all the games. There ought to be a better way to do this than how I'm doing it here. Right? Motel complaint? I love these. Okay. Hey Stu, did you hear about Fisher? Got himself in trouble with the motel. Why the hell does anyone volunteer to stake out that place? Gives me the creeps. But hey, at least he came back. If you can call it that. I saw some of the footage they pulled out of there with him. Tom, down in evidence processing, showed me. Crazy stuff. Fisher had the cameras pointed at himself half the time. I'm guessing he went nuts on day one. He did catch something, though. Got one of those fiber optic cameras under the door of the room he was hiding in. And recorded something out in the hall. Looks like a shadow. Maybe human? Tom tried to get the quality up, but it's still blurry as fuck. Just reaffirms my position. Stay the fuck out of the motel. Anyway... Up for some shoom later? Lisa got up an hour and 38 minutes yesterday. New record to beat. See ya, Dave. Ah, oh, yes. Hopefully we'll have time to do a little bit of that. We shall see. Okay, it is 6.42, we have two hours left. And according to our map, um, it looks like we've made some pretty good progress here. At least in this little section, I don't know if there's more stuff up north. Oh, it's our friend! We need to get those lights on. Activate the lights. Ah, we need four little boxes.
Um, you're creepy. You're creepy as fuck. Got one. We need another power core. Oh, no, you don't. I thought I saw it. Okay, we're in, we're going to go over here then. Moon Dinosaur, thank you for the follow. Welcome in to the Bunny Brigade. And I hope you enjoy your stay. All right, we're going to make a break for it over here. Fine. Oh my god, he is just everywhere. I try to go. Hmm? Did you by chance see the full high res image that you can zoom into? Mm -mm. Pretty cool. Mm. Also, this? That's high res? That's that's zoomed in on the high res. What does that look like? That's unedited though. A dick? Look at my comment. Get out! There's a dick galaxy and no one's talking about it. Dick galaxy. This is what I have to put up with, guys. This is what I have to put up with. How are you going to say that and not show it? Everyone else in chat will say the same fucking thing. Did you see the dick galaxy? There's literally a galaxy shaped like a cock. And balls. How is this more important in my game right now? It's very important. I'm 
I'm fighting for my life here and you're talking about dick galaxies. <laughs> my husband wanted to share love for his love for a topic close to his heart and I silenced him. What the hell? Oh no, they came in here. No, no, I was talking about dick galaxy and this is not fair. Oh my God. How can you blame that on me? That was like a whole five minutes after the Dick Galaxy movie. Everybody needs a little Dick Galaxy in their life, I guess. Imagine I, I edited out the whole conversation from the YouTube video and just included that with no explanation. You know, I don't think the YouTube audience knows how crazy we get in this stream. Because most of it gets edited out. All right, where did my cube go? Oh, there it is. Oh, perfect. Oh my god, this, this part sucked. Where's the switch? Well, where do you think the switch is, Jesse Faden? God damn. Thank you. <laughs> Jitter pineapple, they do not. My YouTube audience is awesome. I just don't know if they're ready for the uh, uncensored version of, of me, you know? Okay. Return to active investigations. I can do that. Oh my God, Jesse Faden. we go this way still locked wait there's something there though oh it's opening all right i think we might be kind of close to done but i don't know if there's more stuff up there or if that's the last room, but we need to go this way. A active investigations. Heal up. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have to fight this guy one on one. Oh man. Hey, Jesse. came through here god he was hideous he yeah. tore the security door into the break falls awe site wide open he was so ugly like wow i got a good look at him and christ he does not look like he used to okay he must have messed him up or something a anything he, he else he looks like a, a bar rag that's been twisted by the world's strongest men or a monster from some 80s horror movie you know back when it was all practical effects oh nasty Real did you say something nasty. remember i can't hear you <laughs> Never mind, just go after Hartman. Oh, so disgusting. What a guy. Yep, Final Fantasy VI is tomorrow. And for better or for worse. Oh, wait. Wait, we're going to listen to the whole thing. I've written and rewritten, deconstructed, reconstructed, experimented with different voices, changed the style, changed myself, forgotten the language, relearned the language. Have I been here before? He needs a haircut. Gone down this path before. The darkness wants to hide the past to make me lose my way. You must know where you've been to know where you're going. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. My notes to myself. 
the only way to make progress. Recap, then write more. The style, then. Lose the fat. Make it clear. Ugly. Functional. Present. Be blunt. Only the brutal truth. Cut through the reality. Tear it apart. Rewrite it. Be clever. Make them do the work. Form the image in their minds. They make it. You just imply. Incept. They're drawn to the mystery. Obsessed. You set it up. They put it together. Their interpretation. And there's only one because you give them no choice. And they believe in it because it's theirs now. This poor guy. He's been cooped up for so long. Hey, Tavira, are you saying you... You prefer Langston over Barry? I can't believe you would say that in my presence. Okay, 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 good. I thought I was gonna have to ban you for a second, Tavira, but you're safe. <laughs> Stuck. Let's go take care of it. Stuck. Does that work? No, there's more. Oh my. I remember um, that I don't like these guys. have that shield and I don't really remember the best method to take him out but he is just really being annoying right now let me let me get you the elevator now? Ah. Thank you for meeting with us again, Dr. Arman. It's my pleasure, gentlemen. I hope the information I provided thus far has been of some small use. It's been invaluable, Doctor. Really, we have a much clearer picture of this event, thanks to your accounts. Well, I do consider myself a keen observer of... We did have one question, though. You mentioned in an earlier conversation that your patients displayed, and I'm paraphrasing here, unnatural abilities that you in fact encouraged during their time in your lodge. It'd be very helpful if you could fill us in on the details there. Of course. Like yourselves, I work to understand and even bend the rules of our earthly paradigm. My patient's well-being was paramount, of course, but Liar. I would hardly be a man of science if I did not reach out at the underlying truth. As I stated in my written proposal, I believe working alongside your organization could be greatly beneficial to both parties. Sharing notes, as they say. Thank you, Doctor. That's all we need to hear. Remy, 
Dr. Emil Hartman, you have been found in breach of codes 4, 8, and 74 of the Federal Bureau of Control Criminal Offenses. What? You can't do this. I am a well-connected man. You're making a dire mistake, my friend. You will be detained until further notice and all personal property will be confiscated, including the Cauldron Lake Lodge. That's preposterous. You can't just seize my property. I'm a United States citizen. I have rights. That lodge is my life's work. I'm offering you years of research. Get him out of here. You're making a mistake. You have to listen to me. You have to listen. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Oh, are we going to the motel? Doom. 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 I've forgotten again. I had a plan. I know it. I forgot. <laughs> My god. I did not like that. Who's the he he's talking about? Hartman or? Whatever is going on with Wake, he clearly needs some help. Yeah. I would say that's a fair assessment why this motel is just my favorite place in this game i always love coming back here it's so interesting oh what do we have here oh i thought we were gonna watch a movie maybe we will movie? no movie Pointing. All right, key. Yep. To the spiral room. Oh. Wake had to escape. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The story needed many beginnings, many springs, streams that turned into a river, a flood, and then an ocean. It's an ocean. This was one. Wake used the materials he had, the connections he had, the people, the places. Wake put them in to make it true. His wife psychiatrist his city these connections like magnets move things alice was a conduit she'd been in the dark place the thing that had been hartman sensed her near sensed wake through her went berserk broke loose wake made sure alice was already gone by then safe the more springs the more the story became real the more people believed cause and effect it was extremely delicate and hard work. It had to go through the path of least resistance where success was most likely, where there was a connection already. Wake felt the pressure grow in his head, going mad. Wake had to escape, right? His escape. He was already out. He wanted to make it true. Wake needed a hero, 
My hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special, something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Something that can't be translated. Translated. Wake channeled Burroughs and Bowie. He cut up sentences and words. Orange peel. You are home. Insane. He put them in a shoebox. He pulled out the words. We created a Dada's poem. I try anything once. Or had he tried this before? Mm. Right. His. Escape. Wait needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. He needed a hero? And the hero needed a crisis. Did it? Did Alan make it so Jesse would come after him? Did he write it that way? I feel like they're giving me more information than I'm understanding. Maybe I'm missing some of it, but... Okay. We are here. The Bright Falls. AWE. Oh god, I'm scared. wrong buttons Alice Wake interview after reaching out to the bureau Alice Wake was brought into the oldest house for an interview on blank 2017 the interview conducted by agent Shaw and Dempsey revealed that Mrs. Wake had recurring nightly visitations from her missing ex-husband in her New York apartment Mr. Wake appears out of nowhere and rushes at her down the corridor According to her impression, he appears crazy and horrifying, clearly coming at her with violent intent. Mrs. Wake believes that he is haunting her, insisting he is not Alan, but a fucking monster in his body. Mrs. Wake has not been sleeping out of the fear of these visits. Her attempts to keep the lights on through the night result in the relevant hallway's light bulb breaking every night, possibly indicating involvement of the blank. Further investigation required. We provo propose installing monitoring equipment in the uh, apartment. Oh. That's poor thing. Another replica. Like the one they made for ordinary. Ooh, I can't wait to see it, but we gotta read all this stuff first. I wonder what happened here. The Dada... I don't know how to say that. I don't remember how he said that. Dadaist po poem? He's talking about the chant, the histu, the one Jesse's brother was saying. Did, did Alan invent the hiss? Don't tell me, like, don't tell me, but I, I, I knew Alan, like, I had a feeling that Alan created something. I didn't know if he created, like, the hiss, because that would be absolutely fucking nuts. Okay, that's just blow, that's, my mind cannot wrap around that right now. So we're just going to see what happens. We can talk about it all after, you know. What is going on? I can't see. Why is it completely dark? This is the director. I need backup at my location. Oh, we about to fight. We're in this together. All right, let's see if we can, I don't know, get some lights on or something. We'll do the fight and then we'll explore for all the uh, notes and stuff, I think. Hmm. Looks like another sort of puzzle. So if we take this... Oh, I can't take that out. a recording.
have company? We have company! I think it's just Hartman in here. Uh, get the power on, it says. Okay. Let him have it. Oh, this is it. You are pretty Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? Oh my god. No. gonna be a while. Oh shit. Shit 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 shit. Not good, not good. <gasps> oh good, we don't have to do the lights part again. What a blessing. scary but I wonder if there's like a second phase or something oh shit okay now I'm a little bit worried that was a lot of damage Projectiles coming out of his ass like diarrhea. Oh, oh. I didn't realize there was a bunch of health out here. Oh, and I just took all that damage. Well, that's lame. Okay. Um, I thought I was safe behind that. But fuck! I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. This is Director Faden. Send a ranger to my position. We're in this together. We're in this together. Let's destroy the guards. Together. I need to make that my new follower alert. It's freaking right card. In. Shit, that's so much damage. Leave my deployed ranger alone! Okay! Okay! This is cool. this time for sure this time for sure so i think we gotta play ring around the rosie around this because everywhere else isn't really good cover How dare you 
heal. I fucking hate bosses that heal. It's fucking cheating. Only I'm allowed to heal. I'm the main character. Ah! Langston was right about him being ugly though. Look at this guy. Almost got him. Oh, oh, I can't see. Oh my God. What is happening? Oh, great. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Why can't I use my powers? Hello? Oh, wait a minute. Do I have to turn the lights back on? Oh, shit. my powers my powers are broken darkness is draining my energy oh I need to get my energy back oh my god what a load of bullshit oh my god Run. No. Jesse, aim! Jesse, this is not the time to fuck around! Okay. Now. here a while get out is there a way to get out of that hold you can shoot him when i can shoot him Okay. 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 That felt like bullshit. This is the director. I need backup at my location. I need backup pronto. Did he heal from that? Oh, that was totally my fault. Oh, I couldn't get my shield up in time.
I'm not sure what I got stuck on. I'm dead. This is so hard. No! Oh god, no. Fucking... Uh. Okay, now we're doing this. Um... I'm not ready. Hold on, I'm not ready. Um... Okay, we need to get to light. We need to get to light. No, 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 don't you fucking dare. He has friends. I'll wait for them to come to me. cry. I want to cry right now. Okay. Let's check out our personal mods if there's anything that we have like a, a nice upgrade. Um, we have health plus 39%. Uh, that's as high as we can get that. The launch energy cost is probably good. We have Ammo recovery on it. I'm not really low on ammo. Weapon reload on shield ability kills. Ground slam. Can we put another health? Can we like stack health? Ooh, we can. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Um, damage while aiming. Zoom and reload speed. Can we just get a, a damage boost maybe? We only have a level four. I don't think that's really going to help too much, but whatever. This is Director Faded. I require backup at this location. Let's put him down. Where did he go?
run. Can you like get out of the freaking way, dude? Okay, so those guys are dead. Um to be. Good job, ally. guys this is the only one that's lit up no that one is too okay here we go wait do i ha am i not making progress this like shield thing keeps healing certain time to do damage to him because if that's the case I might just be fucked
might seriously be fucked here. Come on, come on, reload, reload. Did we do it? Did we do it? Did we get him? Did it? Yeah, fuck you! Hartman won't be a problem anymore, Langston. Woo! But investigations need mm -mm 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 -mm. someone to run it. Interested? I've seen what happens to sector heads, ma'am. No, thank you. Ma'am, I'm getting something on my terminal here, an AWE alert from Bright Falls, Washington. But uh -huh. it might be a glitch. The date's all wrong, a couple of years in the future. And we're in lockdown, there shouldn't be any incoming signals. Maybe it was active before we went into lockdown? Are there agents on site? Let me check. Agent Estevez is the field agent in charge of monitoring the site, so she should be there to let us know if the situation has been through any major changes recently. Mysterious. You have been warned. Is that a threat, Alan? Well, I guess we did it. Okay, so you guys can clue me in on any anything that we learned from this because I feel like I didn't pick up a lot of it. Anything about Alan Wake and this DLC that you guys think that I might have missed understanding? Go. Type your Type your spiels, please. Oh, right, there were documents here and stuff to... Okay, let's do that. I forgot. This must be where they studied Hartman. Kind of looks like Dylan's cell. I wonder if they treated him as badly. These are the notes of Dr. Emil Hartman. I am continuing my work alone again since certain parties were too blind to recognize a golden opportunity. Despite my generous offers, the conversations came to naught. Some people simply do not value collaboration as I do. Though I believe now that it was for the best. The sort of bold pioneering work that I am undertaking cannot thrive under the shackles of bureaucracy and regulation. I have a history of seeking such partnerships. There was a time when I had hoped Alan Wake and I could collaborate. Together we could have produced art such that the world has never seen. Stubborn, egotistical. Writers usually are. He was pretty egotistical. But now, like Tom before him, Wake has disappeared in the cauldron lake. And this is where my work turns. Hypothetical. Since he was lost to the lake, Thomas Zane has been observed by various townspeople. This indicates to me that the individuals within the lake are not entirely gone. I anticipate they will similarly return. While I may harbor some resentment for the man, his raw talent and determination are undeniable. From this, I have concluded that the lake and the dark place within it are not as removed from this world as I previously thought. Given my acute awareness of what awaits within, 
my meticulous preparations, and my considerable education, I believe myself much more prepared than either Tom or Wake. I should be able to cross into that dark realm with the chance to return as they have. All mm. that remains is the dive itself. Yeah, how'd that work out for you? I admit, but such is the burden of the truth seeker. I will take my plunge into the dark tomorrow with only the light of knowledge to guide me. What an it's idiot. Time for a breakthrough. Until I return. Okay, so Alice was being stalked by Mr. Scratch, who's the evil clone of Alan that escaped the dark place we saw at the end of Alan Wake. Okay. Oh. You're the reason why the battle music is still going. I was like, why is there still like these drum beats happening? There we go. Okay, there was um, at least one or two notes as well. On the day of the flooding, the rock band Old Gods of Asgard was rehearsing in a field outside the Anderson farm, the homestead of band members Odin and Tor Anderson, both admitted to being in a heavy state of inebriation at the time. Having spent days drinking their home-brewed moonshine while celebrating Deerfest. After the townspeople were evacuated from the flooded field, um, what caused the flood? I guess it doesn't matter. Sheriff Breaker was asked by Freya Anderson, daughter of Tor Anderson, they have a daughter named Freya <laughs> to check on her father and uncle. Breaker dove to the Anderson, drove to the Anderson farm and found the band members alive but in need of medical aid. Tor Anderson had been struck by lightning and Odin had Anderson had cut out his own right eye. A possible reference to Norse deities blink and blink. Thor and Odin? What's the cutting out the right eye? Who does that? I know Thor is like lightning. They claimed they had found, uh, fought and valiantly defeated a dark enemy of the scratching hag rising from Cauldron Lake. Cauldron Lake. While impossible to verify, these events are relevant to the recurring AWE at Bright Falls and the Cauldron Lake blank. Odin and Tor Anderson have been listed as persons of interest. Mythology. Odin removed one eye to gain wisdom. Mmm, hey unstable deus. Oh. Did they kind of touch on that in God of War? Because that sounds slightly familiar. Something about like... Mimir or something? I can't wait for Ragnarok. Wake photograph. Wait. Oh, no, I don't want to see that. I don't like that at all. Wake evidence. A photograph of Alan Wake captured by Alice Wake during an event in her home. So that's Mr. Scratch. Alice Wake, former wife of Alan Wake, has recently been visited at night by her excuse me ex-husband or entity resembling him see file blank for more being a professional photographer mrs wake positioned cameras with motion sensors around the corridor he appears in and managed to capture an image of mr wake on film during an interview with mrs wake she mentioned that her favorite camera a blank model was lost in 2010 due to awe 35 no match has been found among the confiscated evidence it has been filed as a potential altered item item and research staff stationed at bright falls are being contacted to check if they have any knowledge of such an item poor alice like she's been through some shit Bright Falls 
AWE. Event summary. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation occurred at Cauldron Lake, Washington. The citizens of Bright Falls had gathered in the town's southwestern fields for the annual festival known as Deer Fest. Eyewitnesses all claimed that the day had been sunny, confirmed by reviews of the area's weather reports. But then, with no warning, a thunderstorm appeared in the direction of the Anderson Farm and a tornado rose from Cauldron Lake. The torrential rain that followed caused a flash flood. Oh, that's the, where the flood came from. It was a day. It was as if the day had turned to night. Testimony from Blank. Frank Breaker, the sheriff of Bright Falls, formerly a agent, a bureau agent. Oh, interesting. But we never met Frank Breaker, did we? Was he the father of um Sarah? What what was her last name? managed to guide the crowd to safety as the festival grounds were destroyed by the flood the festival was canceled ending one day early sarah okay 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 lack of official bureau presence on the scene makes this event difficult to report as a confirmed awe though the similarity to other known events in the bright falls area lend cre credence to the accounts of the townspeople okay so yeah her name is sarah sarah breaker so that must be daddy. Daddy-o. He, uh, he was an agent of the FBC. Interesting. Oh no, is that everything? Mm, I didn't find the... Um, the Nightfalls page four then. Oh wait. Aha! Page four! Okay, now we can read it. Now we can read the, the whole play, the screenplay. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I told you several times, Director. It isn't ready. It's ready when I say it's ready, Doctor. But the being beyond the portal, we have no control over it. The robust director shoves the nerd-like scientist aside and heads for the portal control panel. He slams the on button with a determined fist. All the more reason. The entire screen is filled with dangerous red. Then it fades away and we see that the two men are in another dimension. The air ripples around them as if they were a 1983 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am sitting in the Texas sun after a five-day road trip. What have you done? You've doomed us! Control yourself, Doctor. Where's this beast of yours? Right there, sir! A horrible, shapeless, shifting entity fills the horizon. It can't be described. That's how horrible it is. What a thing of beauty you've been keeping from me! The Director steps closely to the horrible entity. He reaches out with a steady hand. You are mine now, creature. I will return you to my facility and control your power. Sir, we don't know. The entity instead rushes forward and engulfs the director. He screams in pain as the scientist looks on and does nothing like the coward that he is. I am not the one being examined. I am, the, I am not the one locked inside a prison. Gradually, the director emerges from the entity. His once sparkling eyes are now empty and dull. The scientist rushes to him. Sir? Sir, we have to escape! We cannot! They're in control now! I got what I wanted. The scientist turns from what used to be his director, now transformed into a stranger, an alien that only resembles the director in form. He drops his all-important clipboard as he stumbles towards the closing portal, but the horrible entity is already rushing through it in a flow of insanity and chaos. The scientist becomes caught in it, and the entity devours him, screaming as it enters our world. The director lifts his pistol to his head. His hand is steady, sure, in its finality. Or so I thought. Camera fades to black. A gunshot is heard. And so, 
our hunger for control, our obsession for domination and power, the hubris at play in this children's puppet show we're starring in can only lead to our fall from control, to submit to those who really hold the strings and control us in night springs. Do -do 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 Beautiful. I don't understand any of those episodes, man. I don't know what they're trying to say. But they're fun. Alright, well, I guess we don't really have time to do much side stuff, but that's okay. I feel like I've um, thoroughly explored Control and Alan Wake as much as I want to on stream. I'll probably maybe come back to this and on my own and get some of the uh, the extra side quests and stuff. I think that might be a good time. We'll see. I don't know. I don't really have much time to play games outside of the stream, but definitely would be fun. All right, guys, we've made it. That's the end of Control. That is the end of my Control playthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did because I enjoyed it quite a bit. I finished the base game of Control in February of this year. It is now July, so some time has definitely passed since I played the base game. And that ashtray maze section for when they play Take Control is still one of my favorite moments of this year. It's super unforgettable. I keep replaying it in my mind. It was just amazing. Anyways, um, I am really eager to get back into this universe and play more of the story of Alan Wake and Jesse Faden. So Control 2 and Alan Wake 2 need to come out ASAP. But that's all from me today. Hope you guys had a good time and uh, thanks for joining me. It's been fun. I'll see you guys in the next playthrough. Bye.